I'm not going to change who I am be- just because there's cameras on. I'm, I'm as real yeah. as it gets. Did you watch the show before you were on it or did you kind of start to get now I'm over it post post your experience? I'm, I'm a little over it post my experience. That makes sense. I did watch it before and really liked it. Also, mind you, when I watched it, it was still like a real television show. Now it's just really just cheesy and kind of fake to me. Do Where do you think that switched? I honestly think the turning point was my season. Really? Honestly, I think I'm to blame for all of this. Let's unpack that, Corinne, because I think you're a fascinating Bachelor contestant for a lot of reasons, including... I don't want to say they really explored the comedic space with me. Yeah, they did because you were kind of a lovable villain. Well, Is that right? yeah, but I wasn't really a villain because I didn't do anything. And I think mm-hmm. we all now know who the real villain is here, which is what I was trying to tell everybody from the beginning. Just very alarming what's going on right now, but it's fine. Um, we're just going to blow right past that. No comment, but okay. I was gonna, I was gonna ask if you had anything to add. Obviously, we might be referring to Taylor Nolan. You can Google it. Uh, no comment. Yeah. Nah. <sighs> While I don't condone bullying at all, all I'm going to say is that I experienced on another level, kind of to a point that different side of her and it is like there is something sorry charlie's just like and i i did realize that there was something off there and that's just all i was trying to say from the beginning so are there you know the in the house this season for the bachelor house or resort whatever there's been a lot of talk about how catty the girls have been it's kind of been like next level turning on each other I don't know if that's just because that's what they've shown us if it's been editing you know there's so much that goes into it did you have good relationships with the women in the house or did anything that like lasted the test of time because it kind of was phrased to be like you were you know fighting with everyone but was that not the case I wasn't fighting with everyone right I mean the only person I was fighting with was Taylor Mm -hmm. and then you have like the girls that like were my friend by day but then would randomly like flip a switch and be like pro Taylor. Like I remember saying something one time about Taylor and I didn't even say anything rude because I never flat out said anything rude about anyone to anyone mm-hmm. in the house. I remember just being like, yeah, well, some people think I don't have emotional intelligence. And one of the girls like snapped at me and was like, don't talk about someone that's not here. Because she wasn't in the room. And I mm. remember looking at her and I was like, um, excuse me, but you might want to take that attitude to her because she's the one that literally, I don't even have to get into it the whole situation. Yeah. So it was just really weird. I had a good relationship with a lot of the girls and then some girls was iffy, but there were never any like flat out fights except yeah. for when I confronted everybody about my nap. <laughs> the nap heard around the world. The nap heard around the world. The nap. Everyone that was, was really upset about that. There were two naps that everybody was really upset about. One was at the pool party and one was for the rose ceremony. And I had just had it. I had just had it. And again, I'm not going to change who I am be- just because there's cameras on. I'm, I'm as yeah. real as it gets. 